Welcome back. Twitter staff flee for the door because work was just too hardcore. Yep, Elon Musk expects hard work, so the staffers went berserk. Hundreds of Twitter employees reportedly quit yesterday after Musk asked them to commit to a hardcore work environment or be fired. It's part of his diabolical plan to keep only workers who actually work. <laughs> In an office poll, just a quarter of those said they were reluctantly staying, and only 7% clicked yes to stay, I'm hardcore. <laughs> and to show that he's not effing around, Elon locked out the staff from their offices to prevent any of them from sneaking back in. <laughs> I've done that with Kill Meat all the time, but he crawls through a window right. to get back in. Oh, you leave the window open every time, so what do you, I need to get back. <laughs> you know what, you don't have to respond to my, my insults. You don't? No, okay. just wait. <laughs> no, <I'm sure. laughs> Take it. Meanwhile, AOC, Kill Meat's ex, couldn't help <laughs> But stick her nose in it, she tweeted. Shout out to all the workers at Twitter. You deserve so much better. Millions of people appreciate the space you built and the hard work that went into it. Thank you. To which Elon replied, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, she walked. She walked into that one like a sliding glass door. So is Twitter going belly up, or is all this temporary chaos a sign of better things to come? Angry left-wing critics claim this exodus means Twitter's in trouble. But in reality, the number of Twitter users has never been higher, as the number of unnecessary employees shrinks. That, to me, sounds like a path to profitability, not collapse. So maybe things look rough for Twitter right now. But like I always say, the Titanic had to sink so we could have the movie Titanic. <laughs> I always say that, Dave. I gave you a pre-laugh on that one. Thank I you, thank you, coming. thank you. You know, there's a, there's a pill for that. Yes. Uh, Do you always laugh prematurely? I laugh prematurely. <laughs> yes, That's yes, yes. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it happens to a lot of men, Dave. Boy, I'd make one comment about your diarrhea. Just, <laughs> just been waiting yeah, to get Yeah, that's only me. okay when he does it. Yeah. <laughs> What do you make of this anti-Musk anti hysteria? Like, you have politicians that are threatening him, like Amy Klobuchar and oh. that Ed Markey dude. They're like, what, what are they scared of? I mean, Ed Markey basically said, if you don't do what we want, Elon Musk, we're gonna look into your companies. I mean, yeah. that's, that's the F, I mean, that's fascist, right? Like, that actually, the corporations and the, and the government working together, they're always calling us fascists. They're yeah. calling you fascists all the time. Uh, but they actually are. You know, the funny thing about the Twitter thing is that all the guy is doing is saying, hey, we're just going to respect free speech. That's it. And now you see these people all freaking out. And it's like, well, wait a minute. If you're freaking out because somebody might be able to speak freely, it might be the bad guy. And also, he, they're now fact-checking the Dems, not just the Republicans. And that's definitely not kosher. Kat, um, <laughs> Matt Musk is uh, being portrayed as a tough boss. Uh, would you regard me as a tough boss or a sensitive boss that caters to your very needs? <laughs> it's amazing the way you view yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is, is I could work anywhere now. I'd be like, oh, this is how it's supposed to be? Yeah. Uh, but actually... Speaking of that, and right. you, yeah. actually, yeah. Uh, all this Twitter being in the news, everyone was having this meltdown, like, Twitter's going to end in two minutes. And it made me do something really stupid last night and actually go on Twitter, mm -hmm. which I never do. Right. I'll, I'll post on it, but I don't look at it. The first thing I see is some guy being like, why is that cat Tim Flady so pissed off at Greg? My wife said that she's very, a very disrespectful lady. <laughs> And I was like, thank you so much for calling me a lady. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no one ever does that. No, this it's true. such a nightmare. He is a gentleman to let me know that, though. But maybe next time he'll start letting his wife on the internet so she can just tell me herself. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so kill me. Scott Adams makes this great point that Elon Musk has turned his fired employees into his marketing department by the attention that the fired employees get just makes the numbers go up. Possibly. I can't quite figure out what's going on. First, he had to have Twitter. Have to have Twitter. I'm going to, here's some billions of dollars. Do you tweet? Uh, I, I'm on Twitter. I've added um, 30,000 followers. You know what's amazing? Nobody, bo Elon Musk nobody bothers to impersonate you. That's so good. <laughs> Ouch. 
I guess, oh. I guess I agree. Uh, <laughs> so first, he's got to have Twitter. He's got to have Twitter. Then he goes, I don't want Twitter. What do you mean I want to have Twitter? Yeah. You got to buy Twitter. I'm going to sue. I'm going to sue you if you don't buy Twitter. So he buys Twitter. Then he gets Twitter. He goes, I'll buy it. You don't have to sue me. I'll buy it. I want. I'm going to. I'm going to fire half of you. Yeah. Don't come to work. And then he says, if you don't work hard, I want to go. So is he trying to destroy the company? What is he trying to do? Does he have a plan? Is he just getting up and winging it? It's like, I, you know, I'm tired of driving in my electric car. I'm tired of going to space. Let me harass social media people. No, you know, I know this is going to be shocking to you, but that not everything is like Fox and Friends. Right? <laughs> what, 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 do you, what do you mean? What do you mean by do that? You just wake up and wing it, huh? Uh, you know, just rely on, rely on <laughs> Ducey's charm and Ainsley's beauty. Can, can I just say something? Yes. You have never seen Fox and Friends. I never so have. You have no idea we even have a morning show. I actually never saw it and I hosted it once. Right. Yeah. And you hated it. You complained the whole time. It was the worst experience of my life. Right. You're like, when's this going to end? That's not a good way to say wake up, America. <laughs> yes, it <laughs> it was the you're, worst. Anti morning show host. Yeah, one of the bosses at Fox said that I, I looked like a child at a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> so they gave me a show at night. <laughs> so, John, are you following this story? What do you make? I mean, what do you make of Musk as a person? Uh, he seems like he's got a hell of a personality. I mean, a jokester. Yeah. But I, I was thinking about it, these, these people getting upset about they're going to have to work hard. Yeah. And it seems like the opposite of what's actually happened because the hardest work they've been doing for all these years is censoring people like us. Yep. And now they're not able to censor us. So what the hell is there left to do? They actually have a lighter workload now. Yeah. So maybe they're just pissed that they can't censor people anymore. I, I think that is because, I mean, he, he's trying to get, get to profitability. He's fact-checking. He's expanding freedom of speech. They think, they think that... That they, they're wishfully thinking that Twitter will go under for the reason you state. Well, they lost their power trip. Yeah. So they no longer have this power trip. I mean, I saw Bloomberg put out a report, uh, something on Tesla, this big, long report, and it's, it's saying all this stuff about Tesla, and Musk just goes, false. Yes. That's all I was, <laughs> false. Do you know, went, there it is, end of that, Bloomberg, boom, knocked him out, you know? Do you know that he rehired fake employees? Did you see that? And... He, the reporters reported it as if they were real employees. He, he's, he's as good at trolling as Trump is. I think he's replaced Trump as the, editor, uh, the commander in troll. Right. Or the I troller think. in chief. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.